John's talking about the extrusions which may hold up the rebuild of the French wings. The extrusions are fitted to the edge of the ridge to help to give it strength. They're the extrusions you're waiting for, are they? Yeah, that one, look at it. Yeah. I don't know what happened to that one, but it's that was the only uh, top surface one that had actually done that. Yeah. The rest of them is where the bolts went through on the lower surface. Yeah. If, it, if the wing sat like that with a load of water in it, around where the bolts are, it'll uh, yeah. it'll corrode and get the, the similar metal corrosion. A bit like that. That one, whether something went wrong with the treatment of it, it's all, it's all the way along, it's exfoliation. Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Mosquito HJ711 still showing the initials JK. These were painted on for its starring role in a ghost film. The film was partly shot at East Kirtley. This is a shot of KB976 showing the state of play on the 1st of June 2022. Dave's cutting out the C section for the door frame. This is thick still. Oh yeah. Give me a paint to chop down and it with a What's this for? That, that's that um, double and triple, oh. the thick one and the thin one. So yeah. That's not the way first. I was going to say, it's thicker than the actual skin, isn't it? Yeah. Dennis is working on the trailing edge of the French wing. The two top skins left to remove then the remaining stringers and ribs. These will be soda blasted, checked for corrosion and damage. It does move slightly then. Yeah, it's coming down and well, we can start taking that out shortly. Yeah. We're taking it out as a unit. Yes. Yeah, the next little job, this one. Yeah. Bits, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting there now. Yeah, it's looking good. So when you take the rivet down, you just drill the head. Yeah. And then not the other. Yeah, just take the head off. Just basically, yeah. I mean, you don't drill all the way through then. No, no, not when you do ribs. No, you should do. You should just take the head off. You just drill it. Take the head off, and, and then hopefully it'll go. Put if a it doesn't, through there. doesn't mean you need something to block it. But with it all coming apart, you'll then be able to knock the rest of the tail out on the bench. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, that that will save all the distortion yeah. and that. Yeah. Yeah, you try not to, um, yeah. if you whack it like that, you can bend it and then what sorts. Just yeah. take the head off and then the skin will come off and then the rest can be. Yeah. You look here, they go through the skin. But the bolts inside there are all corroded to this. Yeah. So Broken off, have they? Corroded away? Yeah, the, the, the corrosion between the bolt, which is steel, and this, which is aluminium. Yeah bolts these in so we're we'll going to try and drill through the bolt yeah. to get this off. Get them off. Yeah. If not we might have to cut them, cut the skins down. I don't really want to do that because then we lose the skin positions and everything. Yeah. That's another little job that is. Yeah. I'm not very good at walking. I'm just keeping the camera still. This is a video shot of the present and a look at the past. The project has moved on quite a fair distance. Yeah. 
I think last time you, you um, filmed it, we've just done the skin, so frame 29 has gone in. 27, um, 28, yeah, 29. And that's yeah. gone in a bit. I don't think that was in last week. So no, it wasn't. That's, that's gone in now. And I've just been cutting out the last one, frame 28. So mm. all the cuts out are done now. So it's a matter of taking it out, pitching the rivet holes in, drilling through the skin, pin it in, and then connect it all up at the bottom. So, and then that's all the form is done. So we've got the C section in, Phil. Yeah, the first C section yeah. that is actually um, 14 gauge. Which, which is um, two point, just over two millimeters thick. Yeah. But it's a triple skin. You've got that C section. This yellow metal here is the other C section that goes right around the door. So you end up then with the outer skin, the an inner reinforcing, and, and sandwiched between them is another sheet of metal. Effective, it comes like a window frame. Yeah. Obviously, because they've cut a, such a large section out of this fuselage, out of this tube, they've had to reinforce it. Yeah. Yeah, they've weakened, uh, but they they did weaken it. But however, by putting in all this reinforcing, yeah. it's made it even more rigid and stronger. Yeah. But so uh, the door will help once it's shut, won't yeah. it, to make it rigid? Well, there's actually we've d d debated this already. There's actually no, the, the door on Jane is just a wooden door. It's plywood. So it's not part of the structural integrity of the rear fuselage at all. Were they made of wood? It's just, yeah, yeah, it's just all it is is a, a, to keep the wind out. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't form part of the structural integrity of the rear fuselage. No. With all of this reinforcing around here, yeah. that is enough. The door is actually, the, uh, the latch for the door is something you'd have on the gate uh, of a garden gate in the 1930s. <laughs> and, and even the hinges are just off something like an Austin 7. Oh, they're really? It's just for the door. Yeah. So if you went and looked at Jane's door, it's folded back. I, I um, was in there on Tuesday. The door frame is made out of wood, probably teak, I should think. The door, the, yeah. The door the, frame that hinges is yeah, wood, yeah. teak, and then with a bit of plywood. Uh, so when you look at it, you think it'd be metal, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I'll go on before I go, I'll go and ask you if I can have a look at it. Well, there's actually quite a bit, because of the age of the, when the aircraft was built, there's still quite a bit of wood around the aircraft, yeah. you know, the navigator's table yeah. um, and all... Uh, also, uh, we, when they've got um, a bomb door came in, yeah. they were going to fit on, that has a wooden trim all the way along. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But it's part of it, it's uh, you modern days, you call it composite structure. Yeah. But it's composite is aluminium and wood. Yeah. But high quality wood, I mean the Wellington bomber was the geodetic construction, but yes. to hold the canvas yeah. onto the actual geodetical structure, there was actually wooden beading and then the canvas is then stitched onto oh, the wooden beading. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Attached, so the wooden beading is attached to the aluminium and then the canvas is attached to the wood. Oh, strips. Yeah. Just about half inch by an eighth of an inch, not yeah. nothing heavy duty. Yeah. But all the fixtures are fitted in the Wellingtons then are all plywood. Uh, yeah. All varnished plywood and yeah. then they're painted green. But I was at Cosford uh, at their restoration facility at Cosford and we had a look at the Wellington bomber uh, if doing a similar yeah. uh, job to this. But I was surprised how much of the um, internal fixtures and fittings are made out of plywood. Mm. Because all the all the strength is in that geodetic. And yeah. similarly this is a integral uh, construction you know, the skin uh, the skin, the strings and the frames all part of the structure of the rear yeah. fuselage. So all of these have been soda blasted and what about check for rust, have they been working through them now? Yeah, what, what basically what we're doing, I'm blasting them to get as much corrosion off as I possibly can, but you know, the, um, the oxide of the yeah. Yeah. And then I bring it in, the jaw effectively then hand dresses it to, re well, to, to do a full inspection yeah. and take out what corrosion he can. Yeah. Um, so it's, Really, we've done all, all the ribs, we've done all the spar webs, but now we're doing the, the top skins. So, uh, once it's start getting painted, yeah. you know, the, the spars have been painted, as you can see. Yeah. Top rounds have been. Yeah. So, I'll paint it. 
So we've got the, uh, the front spars sorted in, they're in the, in the paint bay now. Yeah. Um, and then we can start looking to put it the reinstall of the web onto the spars. Yeah. Do you know, Les, why there is such a gap here between the web? Not before expansion. No, 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 no. Because the, the structure there would be too, yeah. too heavy to stop it moving. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Same sort of thing. gap anywhere else. See, that's, that's better there. So I think no, it's, it's just, just the way, yeah, I just yeah. think it's just the way it was made. Oh, and when it was manufactured, the yeah. manufacturer was slightly short or... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean that's... And also, on these nuts and bolts with the skin to the boom, yeah. will you use a torque wrench? Absolutely. Yeah. Les is starting shoulder blasting the top skins and the French wings. John is following up and checking and removing any surface corrosion outside in the sunshine. Phil and Dave answering questions to visitors. So you've decided now to rivet it up and paint it when you've finished riveting? That's the current plan, yeah. Just, the... just to save um, time and money, really. Yeah. Um, because we're only going to taxi with it and then after that it's going to go in a museum. So. It's going to be a static display yeah. inside. So, so... so painting it obviously is the right thing to do, yeah. but um, these are all down to cost yeah. and things. So. Yeah, and none of it could be classed as an airworthy structure. So if they wanted to do it airworthy, the lot would have to come down yeah, yeah, and a complete yeah. rebuild. Yeah, the, putting new stringers in yeah. which are the correct size. Yeah, yeah. And all that. Yeah, the, the stringers are the main thing that um, we put back on. I mean, I mean yeah. the, the, the formers would be fine, and the skin is just the stringers really. So. Yeah. But um, obviously there's, a, there's bits we're not doing to it because we don't need to. We just need to get taxi and stand up and that's it. Yeah. The gate, the door latch to hold it open. Open, yeah. And you swing it back. Yeah. Uh, but you can see it's straight off a uh, garden gate. Garden gate. <laughs> it's just a piece of hardware. Yeah. yeah. Off a garden gate, adapted obviously to bolt onto the Lancaster. Yeah. I went with Phil to have a look at just Jane's fuselage door. Can you uh, just close the door? Yeah. Because I. Uh, we're working on the uh, the back end on the door, oh, and Ev's sure, yeah, been it. filming it, but yeah. it's hot. Yeah. At this time the wind spoilt Phil's commentary, but he was saying the top and side door frames will finish off with a piece of 2 by one timber. And actually this one's got a lock on it, that's really for, I think that's there for just Jen. I don't know if they actually have a lock like that actually in service, but that there is... They are just a plain the plywood yeah. face. Yeah, yeah. It's all plywood construction. I think they're off on that Austin A3 or something, you know. Oh, they're, 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 not, they're not like aerospace hinges, no. they've been utilised, it's actually the bit of steel there, and this is right. just aluminium here, but ours is steel, yeah. that go on for the ladder.